Hello everyone, it's so good to see you all back here. Today we are going to read a story from Disney's Winnie the Pooh Storybook Collection. And the story is... Say Ah Pooh! Christopher Robin says it's time for my animal checkup, said Winnie the Pooh. He's bringing his Dr. Skeet to Owl's house now. Dr. Skeet, cried Piglet. Oh, poor Pooh, you're sick. Sick? asked Pooh. No, I'm fine, though I must say I am feeling a bit rumbly in my tumbly. That must be it then, exclaimed Piglet. What's it? asked Pooh. Your tummy, it must be sick, said Piglet. Is it? asked Pooh. Isn't it? asked Piglet. Why, yes, it must be, I think, said Pooh. His tummy jiggled and jumped. Oh dear, said Piglet. Let's go together. It's so much more friendly with two. So Pooh and Piglet climbed the ladder up to Owl's house. Step right in, Pooh Bear, exclaimed Tigger, who had set up a desk near Owl's front door. It will be your turn to see Owl just as soon as Roo comes out. Christopher Robin, why do I need an animal checkout anyway? asked Pooh. Oh, silly old bear, said Christopher Robin. Not an animal checkout, an annual checkup. We need to make sure you are healthy and strong. And this time, Owl will give you a special shot to help keep you well. A shot? asked Pooh. His tummy flopped and flipped. A shot? exclaimed Piglet. It's okay, said Christopher Robin. It will only hurt for a few seconds and the medicine in the shot will keep you from getting mumps and measles and things like that. Mumps and weasels, whispered Pooh to Piglet. How awful! Oh dear, cried Piglet. Just then, Roo came bouncing out of Owl's room. I just had my checkup. It was easy, he exclaimed. I'll have a blue one, Tigger, please. Tigger blew up a nice blue balloon for Roo. Come this way, Pooh, said Rabbit, who was being the nurse. G good luck, cry, called Piglet. Pooh walked into Owl's room with Christopher Robin right beside him. Once inside, Pooh and Christopher Robin were greeted by Rabbit. Let's sit you up here on, a on the table, my fine young bear, said Rabbit. Rabbit wrapped a white band around Pooh's arm. He bumped air into the band and it got tighter and tighter. How does it feel? asked Rabbit. Tight, said Pooh. This gauge tells, tells me your blood pressure is just right, said Rabbit. Now step on the scale and we'll weigh and measure you, said Rabbit. Aha! The perfect height for a Pooh Bear of your age. But a bit stout. Still, nothing a little exercise won't cure. I do my stoutness exercises every morning, said Pooh. Excellent, said Rabbit. Keep up the good work. If you'll excuse me now, I have a great many important things to tend to. Owl? will be right in. Seconds later, Owl entered with a flourish. Well, if it isn't Winnie the Pooh, he exclaimed. 
splendid day for a checkup, isn't it? I say, how are you feeling? A bit floppy, flippy in my tummy, actually, said Pooh. Hmm, said Owl. Let's see. Owl felt Pooh's tummy. He felt around Pooh's neck and under his arms. Everything seems to be right where it should be. Oh, good, said Pooh, giggling. Oh, and my otoscope is just where it should be, too, right here in my bag, said Owl. An odd what? asked Pooh. Nothing more than a little flashlight, said Owl, as he peered through the otoscope. And it will help me look in your ears. Hmm, your eyes, very good. Your nose, excellent. And your mouth and throat. Open wide and say, ah, ah, said Pooh. Owl pressed Pooh's tongue gently with a tongue depressor. Wonderful, exclaimed Owl. Then Owl pulled a small rubber hammer from his bag. Reflex checking time, he said grandly. What's a reflex? asked Pooh. The tiniest tap on the knee and you shall see, said Owl. Owl tapped Pooh's knee, and his leg gave a little kick. Oh, do that again, said Pooh. That was fun. So Owl tapped Pooh's other knee, and that leg gave a little kick too. Now, this instrument is called a stethoscope, said Owl. It's made for listening. Listening to what? asked Pooh. Your heart beat, said Owl. Would you like to hear? Pooh listened. Thump, bump, thump, bump, thump, bump. It comforted him, and it didn't bother him in the least when Owl said, Sit right here on Christopher Robin's lap. It's time for your shot. I know it will only hurt for a moment and it will keep me from getting bumps and whistles, Pooh said bravely. That's mumps and measles, Pooh, said Owl. Could Piglet come in and hold my paw? asked Pooh. Absolutely, said Owl. And with that, Piglet came in and sat right next to his pal, when Owl was done, Rabbit popped back in with a bandage. It will feel better before you know it, he said, patting the bandage in place. Wow, said Piglet, you didn't even cry. An annual checkup is no problem for a brave bear like Pooh, said Christopher Robin. I'm just that sort of bear, thought Pooh with a smile. Pooh, said Owl, you are in tip-top shape, but that stomach of yours is a little rumbly. I prescribe a large pot of honey the moment you get home. Christopher Robin, whispered Pooh, does that mean I can't have any more honey? Oh, it means you can have a big pot of it as soon as you like, said Christopher Robin. I'd like it soon then, said Pooh, whose tummy was feeling much, much better. TTFN, tata for now, called Tigger. Don't forget your balloon. Thank you, Tigger, said Pooh. And Pooh let Piglet hold the balloon as they walked home together for lunch. The end. Good night 
and sweet dreams.